Okay, everyone, thanks for watching the video today. This one's called uh, How to Convert Macros to VBA Code. Okay, uh, some people may like to produce, uh, they like to generate macros. Some people like to generate VBA code. I personally like to generate VBA code. I uh, don't like uh, macros. Um, again, you can get this database at vbahowto.com. Uh, vbahowto.com. I'll show you in the. I'll give you a link down there in the comments area. So uh, this real, real simple, real simple lesson here. Uh, I have in my on my screen here in the database you're going to get at vbahowto.com. I have three simple forms. Basically, uh, this one called frm use macro to open form if i open it up if i open it up i get a little button it says use macro to open a form and when i click on that it opens a form okay big deal it opens a form uh well what's behind that it's these little bitty well it's not that it's uh it's just using a embedded macro okay i you know, I don't like to use macros unless I really have to. If I can click, uh, because I have more functionality with the VBA code than what I have with the macros. Okay, and uh, I don't use the database object. I, I can call one procedure from another procedure, and the macros just get too complex and all this other stuff. And so I, I don't, don't really like to deal with the macros. But uh, you may like them and go for it. I, I use macros uh, to like load the set values for toolbars of data in the past and really um, you know you can uh, you can add values to these menu menu items and build custom menus and I use macros okay, I use them in the past but that's uh, so you're not uh, relevant to this video okay uh, better macro that's what this is. I click, click the triple dots, and uh, I have. I'm opening up this form. FRM open. Open the form, and uh, normal. Okay, this looks a little bit different than previous version of Access. Okay, Access 95, 97, 2000. Okay, they changed that a bit, uh, but it's basically the same idea. Okay, and now. I go ahead and uh, and basically so anyway the behind the scenes for this use macro to open form is a better macro thing okay now this other one opens up the same thing double click pizza pizza use VBA to open form when I click the button add a little bit of a uh, little bit of special special action here uh, now do this okay it didn't really have to do all, I did do, I didn't really have to do all that but hi from the open form and then close so both are a kind of equivalent I personally like to use the VBA okay I'm a programming type you know it's uh, basically what, whatever you want to do on here, uh, this the code behind it is real simple. It's using a do command, open form, what form, and then I set up message box. Now do this, okay? Now, if you don't like your macros, let's see if I can get back into my form here. Close, and I have this tab actually going. Okay, if you don't like your macros, you want to convert them. Okay, that's a real key point. Uh, click on, click up here in the top right hand corner, and maybe I, I need to move this over a bit. But <clears throat> it says uh, convert forms macros to Visual Basic. When you click on that, let's see what happened here. So it, it should have uh, actually. I think I need to click on click on the object. Click on the object convert the forms macros bang and here's my little convert include the comments okay check the box <clears throat> include some like uh, 
see this is all made by a uh, little little form that pops up so they have a little template and so they're gonna add comments they're gonna add some air handling and good to go it's a less typing for you if you need to okay so click on the object that has the macros and then go ahead and choose convert and then when it converts to finish okay it's done Let's see what happened okay and then I'm this is gonna end the video after I show you this um, <clears throat> here's my conversion here's my comment button BTN macro click whenever I click the button what's gonna happen I'm gonna open up this uh, the open up the form it basically put the the do command open form thing in there that uh, the uh, do command object the open form action what form what AC normal again okay, opening up normal and then it adds all the all the excess arguments that's perfectly all right and then it's gonna add me this air handling in there so that that's good that's good so anyway that's uh that's a way bit uh if you the difference between macros and vba and if you need to convert your macros make them into vba i show you how to convert a macro to vba code again get the database over there at vbahowto.com this is eric and you have a great day bye now